Hey, it's the Investment Community. It's Carl Sprudis here. Thanks for joining me for another video. I've got a lovely guest on today. We've got Davinder Singh. Davinder Singh from Podcasting Hub Australia. Yeah. Thanks for having me. That's all right. Thank you for coming along, mate. It's been it's been a while since we've actually had a sit down chat. Yeah. Um, and I think you know it's it's very it's very important to to recognise that we we've been communicating for quite a while now and talking through a lot of ideas, but we haven't really sat down and recorded that. And I think that's the beauty of today's day is that there's so much content that we are creating and there's so many conversations. And you'll have conversations where you go, wait, why isn't this on a podcast? Why isn't this being recorded? Yeah. Why aren't we d- diving deeper into this and inviting more people by rec- recording it? So I think that's the main purpose <laughs> of this, this, this recording. What do you reckon? Thanks for coming. First, first of all, thanks for coming around and having this, you know, sit down conversation with us in your studio i love it thank you uh and, and we were sitting here for the last two hours and then talking about things i think one thing which we were talking for longer was the difference between distance and displacement yes i love uh, it so essentially it's a concept from physics which i was taught in year 11 i was studying physics yeah uh, essentially what it says is it's what matters is the effective displacement not the distance you have traveled so you might have traveled so many t- a longer distance for example 5 km but effectively you have moved only 1 km from your start to the end point yes so essentially it says from a career point of view that we might have made so many mistakes yeah if for example i could reach the same destination in 10 years versus if i essentially moved only 2 years worth of career movement yeah so that's the difference between distance and displacement and and that resonates with many you know uh, many professionals many people who are working on their own small business So, so it it resonates with a lot of people. Yeah, and and also, like I know family members and friends and 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 people in my life who they had that one person who they go, you know, gosh, like does he only want or does he she only want to learn through <laughs> extreme pain or through repeated repeated repeat offending, you know, and doing the same mistake over and over again and then getting the lesson on the twentieth tw- time they've they've had that. Mm. they made the act they mm. received the pain mm. and then the lesson is finally creeped through and it, it happens so much where we learn through experience you know we we will listen and especially as young kids like teenagers young mm. people I know myself people would tell me Carl don't touch that that's hot you know and then you go you do it and then you learn curiosity and you learn and obviously that learning like when we when we talk about truth and I think this is another topic to bring up is that there's what do you really know that is true like there's so much perspective right there's so much perspective in the world and what i know as true right can have so many gray scales so say if there's a merger between two companies <coughs> and there could be many reasons why the companies merged mm. you know and unless you are there in the in thing you can have your own perspectives yeah. so for me when you're having the experiences in life and you want to learn and evolve mm. you know it's each individual's you know per, a personal reason for why they want to learn that lesson but if you can learn it through the reality of your own experience then it's a lot more true to yourself so for me going through the the health challenges i had when i was 18 um doing something that was totally out of my comfort zone doing many things out of my comfort zone um and healing myself naturally that experience made me realize mm. oh you can heal yourself naturally there's literature that goes back thousands of years that mm. that explains that and expresses that and, and but i just, wouldn't yeah. know it yeah, yeah you're right you know you might have healed yourself and and you feel and then that's the reality of yours and and truth is very individualistic yeah. truth is science yes science needs facts when you want a large population to follow orders then yes you have to vaccine yourself to to have herd immunity so that's truth but for an individualistic truth for example for your individual life mm. what have been you have been through from start to end nobody has witnessed all of it from start to end from your so nobody yeah. has known you nobody has known your truth yeah. essentially every individual knows their own truth so we are just you yeah. are you're walking a fine line between the argy bargy of the spiritual world and the and the and the corporate world but the the, the, the truth remains the fact the fact remains that uh, the fact remains that we are the only ones who have known ourselves from the start to the end exactly, and yeah. nobody has witnessed our lives and when you say decide your own destiny is that you are the one as an individual yeah. have known you from start to end you are the one 
who knows your strengths and weaknesses you are the one what's the right path for you you are the one who would can resolve uh, and understand yourself very well because we as a as a community or a society we have been trained to solve problems so we are always you know we will raise our hands every time in the class somebody asks the questions we are always awarded to solve problems and give solution hence we jump the gun and give solution like this yeah. that's the problem the solution yeah, yeah. is that yeah, yes. but what we haven't done as a community we have sat with the problem long enough so the, the the day we start sitting with the problem for longer than the typical duration what we spend that much time the problem will untangle itself and the, and the solution will be apparent you don't mm-hmm. need to find a solution you have yeah. to sit the, sit with the problem long enough you would know the solution itself, yeah. so and be intimate or empathize with the problem and that's why the new way of uh, nowadays people have moved from you know when people design products there's a concept called human centered design yeah. that's the first step of that is empathize with the problem yeah it's a core design process uh, designed by stanford De- design school uh, and and the first step of that process is empathize with the problem mm. so the longer you empathize with the problem you know the problem intimately and yes. then you go to the users so that's you know the way problem more than the user even yes. knows the problem yes so so the solution is very inevitable when you know the problem yeah. and and same as as us individuals we should know our truth yeah. not the problems yeah i love it i love that it's really really resonating with um the whole your path and and design your destiny and also the the thing about your distance is that you can travel that distance if you want. Yeah. You can go and learn your own way. You yeah. know, you can go and do five lessons in five different fields to learn that one lesson if you want. But like you said before, our time is limited. So you want to be able to shorten that curve yeah. of getting to the from point A to point B. Yeah. And and that's where it comes in like trying to give people advice and trying to help them along the way and trying to trying to see if you can assist them. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a funny it's a funny area to live in. But I think if you can just share from your own experience then people can gain from that and, very much you know that's another thing that we i think we chatted about that i really enjoyed is dev telling me about the people that he learned from and and you know that were a lot wiser had a lot more years had a lot more development and i was lucky enough to live with my grandparents and in that there's 180 years of life experience um and you know the the, the name of society destiny came from my grandfather something that he, he whispered in my ears or he already said to me on one sunny summer's day with the sun kissing the side of his face turned to me and looked and said decide your destiny and I didn't know what he was talking about but then years later it pops back up and it starts coming yeah. to my ears and it, and so that's another learning and a lesson that I I can actually relay from the moment that I learned that the power of that that simple simple three lettered uh, s- simple three words yeah the power in that moment to kind of come back to me in my life how I learned that and then how it's going to affect me in my life now and also looking at how I've practiced that lesson unconsciously mm. so i think that's we there's a lot of resources that we can get from our own life very much you know very much. and we can look out into the world for all the answers but like i said there's a lot of problems that we have overcome naturally mm. every single day in every single moment of our life we're trying to overcome problems so we can look at our life how how did i get here and joining the dots going backwards how did i get here what steps did I take? What were the right steps and the wrong steps? And that's why I think it's really good to be someone who likes to experiment. And I think you're definitely someone like that. You like to start ventures, get creative, try different things, mm. get your hands you know, into the clay yeah. and learn. Because the faster you realize A doesn't match up with Z straight, I need to go through E and F to match the dots, then the faster you can get along you're the right. path that you want to be on. You're right. You know? Yeah. I think it's good. Thanks for coming around, having a oh. chat. Uh, Thank good you, conversation. sir. <laughs> good conversation. Good two hours spent. I'll, so I'll bring my three-piece suit uh, next time. See you then. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Dev. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Thank you.